Live it up. <coughs> Live it up. <coughs> it's only right now. I don't even no know way. that song. That's so wrong. For you Kiss fans, you know it's not live it up. Oh, it's, it's lick it lick up. Lick it up. But we're not going to talk about licking it no, up. No, we're not. Let's talk about living it up. Live it up, baby. You know, you really are. When you use that level of energy. Are we going to use that? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, good. All right. We're talking, hey, it's Scott and Jeff. We're living it up. We're living it up because yeah. we're living the dream. Yeah. And what is that dream? That dream is to just have happiness, to be happy. You know, you might not be happy in every second of the day like, gosh, I just feel so happy. I want to sing and jump and dance and do these weird things that he's doing. But you can maintain a certain level of constant happiness that's sort yeah. of the underlying thread that mm -hmm. weaves its way through your life yeah. and through perhaps others lives if you're really doing it right. yeah I mean, because so many people get caught in a rut right you're just kind of going along you're punching the clock you're doing whatever but every now and then you got to get a little crazy i yeah. had one moment uh y2k right me and some friends oh, we all boy. went down to vegas right we're going to go ahead and spend the night and, and i don't uh, think i want to hear this no 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 uh, it's it's the PG and, uh, yeah, no, yeah. no 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 so there's nothing really to do it's 11:45 everybody there's is there's nothing uh, to do in Las Vegas <laughs> no nothing to do for a, co oh, for a couple big of Mormon group of Mormon guys, guys. <laughs> yeah you know right so everybody in Vegas is out on the streets whatever and we're just kind of it's 15 minutes before the strike of the clock right we're looking around we we pass by a street and there's a helicopter parked by this hotel and we're like, well, let's go and see what's going on down here. And the guy says, yeah, you guys want to get a quick little helicopter ride? You know, 70 bucks. We're thinking, $70? $70? But you know what? We decided to live it up. We're never going to have a chance Just like this that before. Wait a minute, is that $70 each? Yeah, oh, each, wow. each. And this was so we in said, 2000 so that's like a yeah, million yeah, dollars yeah, in today's yeah. money. So we said, you know what? Let's do it. We all got in. This guy gave us a little 15-minute tour. As the, the clock struck 12, Y2K over Vegas, he's taken Firework us in dips. Up, oh, it, blows it, up the I mean, whole helicopter. Yeah. If we did not have the mindset of living it up, we never would have done something That's like really, that. That's very you know? cool. And I don't miss the 70 bucks today, obviously. I mean, you got to do stuff like that every right, now and then. Right. You're dropping $70 on lunch, ooh, for heaven's ah, sakes. I mean, the ooh, lifestyle ah, that you lead. I tell you. You know, it may seem counterintuitive. Uh, to what we've talked about before in terms of being happy, you know, that you penny pinch and that you save and that you don't get extravagant. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you really want to be happy, you're living a life of moderation. And so sometimes, you know, you pamper yourself a yeah, little bit. Yeah. You, you do. You pay for the upgrade from coach to, even if it's that middle one now, the one that doesn't feel like it's anything at all. Oh, yeah. Comfort. That quasi, yeah. Comfort. Comfort, comfort plus. Comfort class. Yeah. So that basically means you get a free shot at the basket of pretzels. Yeah, and you got two extra inches of knee room. Right? Big two inches right yeah. there. But still, you know, you do it, you only live once, that whole mentality. Look for opportunities. Now, I know before we've said, you know, skip the valet parking. It's expensive. Remember, you're trying to kind of you know, penny pinch or whatever. But sometimes, don't. Yeah. I mean, you know, no. once in a while, literally, I mean, most valet parking anyway. This is a silly example because it's not that big of a deal. But for most cheapskates like me, valet parking is free. It's the tip yeah. that I don't want to give. Yeah, them. yeah. And how much do I give? You know what? Just drop the car off and give the poor kid a $5 bill, for heaven's sakes. Mm -hmm. yep. They live off of tips. You know what yeah. I mean? That might not seem to some of you like living it up. But for others, that's a pretty big deal. Oh, yeah. It's huge. It's huge. I remember one time I, I was, this was before I was married, you know, we're going out to dinner with my date. You know, we get to the restaurant, favorite restaurant of mine in Salt Lake City, and there's about an hour long wait, right? So what do I do? I grab a bill out of my thing. Hey, can you maybe put us at the top of the list? Took us in right away and sat us down. And that made all the difference. Wow, look at you. I tell you, when I say bill, I'm not talking about a, a one. one. I'm talking about a, I'm talking about a five. Yeah. Or two. Five times four, actually, is what I oh, did. You gave a 20? Yeah, I gave him a 20. It's like a movie scene. Yeah, You're like you living know? out of Boom. a movie. A $20 huh? bill right here. Hey, something far from the kitchen, huh, That's Tony? Right. It works. Yeah, it does. If, especially if you put the axe on because they think you're connected and yeah, then they're really yeah. motivated. And you're asking if you were in, uh, you know, staying alive or <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. So, uh, in, in the spirit of this, uh, top three things that we would like to do before we die or something that would be fun to live it up mm. in our lives. Uh, mm -hmm. Three things we haven't shared with each other. We don't know what our lists are. You're number three. So, when I, when I looked at this, this is what I thought of 
you, you know, the viewers, what you can do to live it up if you've never done this before. And I thought at places, I always think of places yeah. that I can go. Uh, number three on my list is Australia. You got to go to Australia. It is mm. the coolest country. It is nice. Uh, the language is very easy. And uh, I mean, Sydney, Melbourne, uh, uh, you know, Brisbane, go all the way over to Perth. Just take it all in. It is the coolest place that you can see. Go to the North Beaches right above Sydney. I'm telling you, you'll have the time of your life. Yeah. Bondi Beach, baby. Bondi. Yeah, and just make sure that you are prepared for the lack of upper attire. Hey, they're living it up. On Bondi. Well, and it's funny. The more you see it, the less uh, yeah. special it is. Sure. Okay. <laughs> my number three on my list is Europe. It's also a vacation place. That's actually number two on mine. Just London. Europe. You know, London is an amazing city, yeah. but pretty much anywhere in Europe, if you're from yeah. America, is going to blow your mind. I mean, just the cobblestone streets, the old cathedrals, the languages. I mean, and the fact that you can drive the equivalent of driving from you know, New York City to Philadelphia and pass through nine countries yeah, yeah. without even having to stop anymore to get a passport stamped. Mm -hmm. It's just all the cultures, the food, go to Europe. That's my number three. It's, it's, it's vying. It's in the top three because it's yeah. so much fun. You too? So Europe was my number two or London was my oh, number two, but go. I'm going to go right to my number one, which is New York City. I love going to New York City. If you haven't gone you just got to go. At least check it off your bucket list. There's so many cool right. things to do there. I mean, you had a great first experience when you remember when you you told it's a great story. You're riding on the bus, you look on one and then you look out the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, no, it's yeah. just nuts. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a dream come true if you've grown up and everyone has watching movies about New York and whatever. And, you know, I was just a teenage kid and, and had a friend living there. And so I went to live with him for the summer and just to walk up and down those streets and, you know, mm. get out of here. If you've been there, go back. If you haven't, make sure that you're in New York. My number two is uh, something that I'd like to do is see the Great Pyramids. I've never done mm. that. I think that would be spectacular because they're one of the few remaining wonders of the world. And then my number one would be to go to either a UEFA Champions Cup, Champions League uh, uh, final or a World Cup final. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, if you think I'm talking about athletic supporters or some sort of measuring device, the World Cup or the Champions League Cup are actual trophies. Yes. For in the sport of soccer or mm -hmm. football, football, as they call it. Yeah. I'm a football fan. What can I tell you? It was one of those things that I decided to say yes to years ago, and I fell in love with it. Of course, it was because I lived in Europe at the time, and uh, you couldn't you know, swing a dead cat without hitting a <laughs> football fan there. So those are my top three things. If you want to be happy, I know that you want to be careful in how you spend your money and, and all of those things, but now and then... You only live once, and mm -hmm. you can't take it with you, truly. Be wise, but but live it up a little bit. Well, if you've had as much fun as we have mm -hmm. had over the last few minutes, and I highly doubt that because for us, this is very, very fun. Yes. Make sure that you come back for our next video. Like this one, subscribe to us, share it, and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see us talk about in another installment. Thanks. <laughs>